This is Winter Safety Alert by the Department of Mines and Mineral Energy. I have a safety inspector, Danny Mullins. And today, Brian Stacy is going to give us a pre-operational check on the excavator. We're going to do a pre-op on a 365 CAD excavator. And the first thing before you climb on the machine is uh, maintain three-point contact and watch for any accumulation of ice, especially this time of year. I want to first start by checking all fluid levels and looking for any leaks. See it's full of oil. Don't see any visible leaks or any loose bolts. The belt looks good. I think we're good in here. Next, we'll go over and check the antifreeze level. It's full of antifreeze. Next, I look, look around, look for any visible leaks or any loose bolts, cracks in the frame. Everything looks good. Next, we'll check the the boom pin keeper. It looks tight. No visible cracks in the boom. Everything looks good here. Next, we're going to check the tracks. Make sure no loose bolts. Check for all your rollers. Make sure they're in good shape with no loose bolts. Look for any cracks that may be in the tracks. Kind of look around, look, look at your bolts in your circle. Make sure they, they're tight and all in there. Next, we're going to check the hydraulic oil level. Everything appears good. Walk around the machine. Look for any leaks, any loose bolts. Again, check your the inside of your tracks for your rollers, all the bolts. Everything looks good. Come back around, continue looking for any any obvious leaks or cracks. Check your track, the undercarriage. Everything looks good. Next, we want to come around to the front of the machine. And again, look at all your bolts on your circle and make sure they're tight and all in. You want to check your your pins through your hydraulic cylinders. Make sure everything's tight. Any cracks. If you want to check your fire, fire extinguisher, make sure everything is operable with it. We'll come back to the, the boom. Again, check for any cracks or any leaks, make sure your, all your keepers are in your pins. Next, we'll check the bucket. Make, just look for any cracks that may be in the bottom of the bucket. and Make sure all your teeth and everything are in. The bolts are through the keepers. Everything appears good.
once inside the cab, I want to uh, turn the ignition key on, make sure the front horn works, and sound it, wait 15 seconds, and then start. Make sure all your gauges are functioning properly. Always check your seat belt. Make sure it's not torn. Next, we want to uh, check the swing for any slack. Check the swing brake. Everything works normal. We want to check our travel alarm, make sure it works. It works in both directions. Make sure your pilot shut off works. It functions. Check your wipers. Next, we want to turn our lights on. Make sure all your lights are working. All the lights are working, the glass is in good condition. That's pretty much, much it. Once your pre-op is completed, we need to start by filling the card. That takes care of a pre-operational check on a, a cat excavator. And remember to check these things before getting your day started. Cab air filters, door seals, the air conditioning and heating system, the turbo oil line, and your fire suppression system.